Welcome to another episode of Wonders of the World Wide Web. In this episode, we are going to talk about Mastodon. But what is Mastodon? Mastodon is communication software that allows you to share messages with the entire world. Wow, isn't that great? For Mastodon, you'll need an IBM personal computer or compatible computer, a hard disk drive, a modem, also known as modulator demodulator, a telephone subscription, and the Mastodon installation diskette. Some people complain that it's difficult to get the hang of Mastodon, but that's absolutely not true. With a simple course book, you could already master Mastodon in just three months. Let's get started. First, we need to install Mastodon. This may take a while. We inserted our installation diskette and go to the diskette drive by typing A colon or B colon, depending on your drive name. Now we type setup and press return. After loading, Mastodon will ask you to select your graphics adapter. We have a CGA card, so we select CGA. Now Mastodon asks us to select our modem. We have the Gen Master 8675309, so we select the Gen Master. After selecting a graphics adapter and a modem, the setup program automatically quits. Now we type C colon and press return. Now we type CD backslash Mastodon and press return. Now we type Masto and press return. Mastodon will now load the software. This may take a while. This is a confusing part for most people. We have to select a server. What does that mean? The best way to explain this is to compare it with moving. When you move, you'll first need to pick a neighborhood to move to. If you're an artist, you would most likely prefer an artsy neighborhood. If you're a religious person, you would prefer a place close to a church. If you love animals, you move to an animal-friendly neighborhood. Mastodon servers work exactly the same. I want to live in an average neighborhood, so I pick the most common server, social. Let's go back to the neighborhood analogy. If you live in a neighborhood, you can still visit other neighborhoods. With Mastodon, it works the same. After you pick a server, you can still visit other servers, so it doesn't really matter what server you pick, as long as it's a server with nice people. Now we need to pick a username. I type Wonders. Now the software displays our handle. A handle is comparable to a phone number. If you give it to people, they can find you and reach you. We're almost there. We just need to set up our profile. Now we're going to set up a profile so people can see who we are. First, we need to type our name or nickname in the field display name. In the field bio, you can type more information about yourself. Hmm, local television show about technology. Done. We saved the profile and now we are ready to use Mastodon. If you want to receive messages, you need to connect to the server. If we press F1, the software will automatically call the server. This may take a while. Wow, I've received messages from random people. We surely live in the future. I want to share a message with the world as well. You can do this with the second function key, F2. I just saw Back to the Future, tubular movie. I confirm my message with send. And here it is, my first publication, or how Mastodoners call it, a toot. You can also favorite a message. I like, for instance, this message. When I go to the star option, the message is marked as one of my favorites. The author of the messages can see this as well. You can also 
also reply to a message with the reply option. Weird Paul wrote, I feel terrible. I melted parts of our camera. It still works though. Now I select reply and respond to his message. That's awful. I hope that there's still a warranty on your camera. And here is my reply, visible to the entire world. We explained before that you can use the favorite function if you really like a message, but you can also boost a message. If you boost a message from somebody else, you highlight it on your own profile. It works like this. You go to boost and confirm. As you can see, the boosted toot shows up on my profile. The word notifications is blinking. That means that Mastodon has news for me. You can read the news with F7. Ah, somebody is following me. It's easy to follow my fellow Mastodonian back with F4. Done. You can also search for people or subjects with the search function. You can do this with F3. Let's search for a celebrity. Hmm, Tony Danza. As you can see, the computer found one result. Tony Danza is not in my network. So the computer hangs up the phone and calls to the server that Tony Danza uses. Success! This is the profile of Tony Danza. I'm gonna follow him. Now you know the basic functions of Mastodon. Mastodon has way more functions, but you'll automatically discover them. Also, if you have a question about Mastodon, you can just ask them to the friendly people on Mastodon. See you on Mastodon online.